for today's meal, we are going to be trying something that's called lomo saltado. This is often translated as a jumping steak, but really it's a stir-fried steak and it's one of those traditional dishes you can find just about anywhere in Peru. So yeah, we're gonna be sampling that. We're actually sharing the plate. I hope it's a big portion because we've been walking around for a long time. We're pretty tired and we're hungry. So are you feeling more tired, more hungry, or just plain hangry? Uh, all of the above. <laughs> yeah. So today is one of those days that just isn't going the way that we anticipated. So we ended up walking to a restaurant that specialized in ricotto relleno, but <laughs> it was closed. Yeah. And we researched this on Google, but we didn't realize that the restaurant had just changed its hours to, to a different season. Yeah, so that was really disappointing yeah. especially because we walked like 45 minutes in the heat yes but anyways we're trying to salvage the situation we just found this place we're walking down a busy street mm -hmm. and we're thinking like yeah why not let's let's go film a Lomo Saltado video we haven't filmed this yet so here we are Yeah, you know what? Put food in front of me and my mood can change instantly. Feeling so, a lot better, hey? Feeling a lot better <laughs> suddenly. So let's take a tour of the plate here and we'll show you what we have. So basically, uh, this is the, the sirloin steak strips here. So you can see that. And this is a, entirely a stir fry. You have your onion, which is very typical as well. Red onion. And then you also have your peppers and your tomatoes as well. That looks good. And it's typically served with French fries and also rice. So looks like we've got everything in the classic Lomo Saltado. Now it's time to dig in. All right, hungry boy, get to it. So I'm going to grab a piece of meat. I'm going to grab an um, onion and a French fry. If I can. It's gonna be a big bite. It's a big bite. Whoops. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, that's tasty. I I'm a real big fan of stir fries just in general. So this is this is an awesome food. This is one of the most popular foods in all of Peru. And you can see why it's just it's, it's, it's delicious. It's easy to prepare and it tastes really good. So even though this is considered to be a Peruvian dish, it actually has chifa origins, and that means it has Chinese roots. So it's kind of like a fusion between Chinese food and Peruvian food. And if you look down here, we have the beef, and this is marinated in vinegar, soy sauce, and spices. So you can see the Chinese influence there. Yeah, That's the, super tasty. The other cool thing that we read was that it's cooked in a wok. Yeah. And that the other Chinese influence is that it comes with rice. Mm -hmm. But the Peruvian influence is that it comes with, of potatoes. course, the potatoes. Because so. they've got like thousands of potatoes in this country. Yes. So many different varieties. So it really is the ultimate fusion dish. Mm -hmm. And do you like it? Really good. Okay, so now it's time for price point. Yes, so this was 16 soles, so less than 5 US dollars, and it was enough for the two of us to share, so pretty good value. And something that's really cool about Lima, I've only seen this in a few cities around the world, such as like New York, and what's really cool about Lima is that you can kind of just pop into any restaurant and get a decent meal. Like Lima is such a foodie city that you could not be in business, you could not have a restaurant if you didn't serve at least something decent. So we winged this video. We came in and, and grabbed Lomo Saltado in a restaurant we've never had before, and yet we had a really good meal. So that is kind of the Lima eating experience, the classically made eating experience. You go out, you order something, and it tends to be good most of the time.